Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to render the viewport in Blender. Whether it's a single image or a full animation, you can do it without screen recording or manually cropping to fit the camera. Let's get started. Let's say you want to render this scene. In my case, it's a simple bounce animation. You already have a camera set up in the scene. Now, instead of hitting the usual render image button, we're going to use the viewport render feature. First, press F3 to bring up the search menu and type viewport render image. Now Blender will render what the camera sees, just like a regular render, but in solid or material preview mode, depending on your current viewport shading. And by the way, instead of searching, you can also find these options under the view menu at the top left of the 3D viewport. It even shows other elements like lights or other cameras that are visible in the viewport. Pretty handy. Now let's say there's no camera in the scene. I'll delete the camera to show you. Now again, press F3 and search for Viewport Render Image. This time, Blender will render exactly what you see in the viewport, like a screenshot, but without using screen recording. Perfect for tutorials, previews, or quick look dev renders. All right, now let's render an animation. First, go to the Output Properties tab. Set your start frame and end frame. Choose the file format. Use FFmpeg if you want a video, or choose an image format like TOT, PNG, or JPEG for an image sequence. Set the Output folder. Once that's done, press F3 and search Viewport Render Animation. Now Blender will start rendering the full animation based on your current viewport look. If you have an active camera, it will render from the camera's view. But if you don't have a camera, it will render whatever is visible in the viewport just like with the single image option. And that's it. Now you know how to render your Blender viewport as both images and animations without screen recording, cropping, or extra editing. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or tutorial requests. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.